Exam 70-461 Bootcamp Querying Microsoft SQL Server 2012 This is my new book, this is Kalman Toth. It is available on Amazon.com and in your local bookstore. Let's uh, consider the issue of using BCP to import from an Excel 2007 worksheet. So we have to do some preparation. The worksheet data actually was uh, import, uh, exported from this view. So we create the table which is going to contain the import to be in the same format. So we are not going to have uh, errors during uh, the import. So we have to create a format file to help out BCP with uh, necessary column metadata information to do the import right. So this is how we create a format file. Execute, so it was successful. We'll check out the format file in a second. This is the data we are going to import. What I did is uh, replace all nulls with uh, nothing. I used the uh, replace to do the replacement. So I just enter null here, N-U-L-L, -L, and replace it with nothing. Because if we have null here, we are going to get errors. Let's uh, create a .csv file from this, save as, and .csv ms-dos, if anyone still remembers ms-dos, and uh, save. Yes, we have to say OK here, and we have to say Yes here. This is quite tricky. Let's minimize Excel. So let's check out what we have now. This is the format file. This is what describes each column for the transport of data. And this is the .csv file. And we see that the nulls were replaced with an empty string. The values are separated by commas, comma-separated values. So we have uh, null fields between the commas. Now we are ready for uh, the import. Let's just slide over. The reason we have long lines, you cannot break the command line because uh, then it's not going to work. So we have to have one long line, and this is the end of the line. This is how we created the format file, and uh, this is how we are importing from this file using the format file. This is a server name, and um, F1 indicates that the first line is a header, so it should be ignored. And this is the destination table. Let's execute it. It does not look right. It should say 14 lines transferred. We got an error, and I know what's the error, because I did not exit from the Excel 2007 module and it's locking up a file so let's exit 
at this point we have to say no. Let's execute it again. This time we are successful and all 14 rows were copied. Let's check it. And these are the results. The empty strings were replaced by nulls. And everything looks great. Summary. We can use BCP to import data from Excel 2007, but it requires steps to do it and uh, careful uh, execution. This is the end of a short demo.